Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to solve a 3x3 Rubik's Cube using algorithm, sequence, and patterns. And to start, we need to make a dicey. It looks like a cross with a yellow on the center. This face is intuitive, so you just need to figure out a way to line up all the white center pieces onto the yellow center. This is what I'm doing right now. It just takes a few practice and knowing how the cube works. Back when I was solving a cube without any knowledge of it, I, I was having a hard time solving this first step as if it was very hard. And you will see it once you got the gist of it. And here we go, we solve our daisy. So on to the second step, the white cross. We must line up all the corresponding colors on the centers and turn it face down. We must do this with all the centers, just like this. After that, we will turn the cube upside down and there we have it, our white cross. Turn it back again, it will serve as our base for building the first layer. In solving this first layer, we will follow a sequence called right algorithm and lefty algorithm and it should look like this. Before we execute this step, we must make sure that all the pieces are lined up in their respective position correctly and then we will do this a couple of times until we can see to it that the first layers is all. Pick a corner with a white piece on it, place it on its corresponding colors according to its centers, then execute the algorithm up, left, down, right, up, left, down, right, up, left, down, right, up, left, down, right. Just continue to locate and line up all the pieces with white on it and its corresponding colored pieces up, left, down, right until it's solved and there it goes and now we were off to the second layer and to solve the second layer line up the center pieces then look at what color is on its top then move it on the opposite direction if its corresponding center is on the left turn it to the right use the algorithm one time inverse from where you turn the piece see to it that there is one white piece move the white piece horizontally away from your face see to it that it will always be on the corner of the third layer from that position do the algorithm and the layer will be solved automatically And there we have it, we complete the second layer. And now, we're off to making the yellow cross. And to make that, we must follow certain steps. Pick a yellow piece that is facing on you. Turn to the right the line you are facing. Then, do the right algorithm. Up, left, down, right. And turn it back to where it was originally. And there you have it the yellow cross after that now we're going to line up as many pieces as we can if we manage to line up all the four on their corresponding colors skip the step and if not follow this locate one corner already lined up do the right the algorithm but with slight alterations up left down left up left left and down now it should be possible to have a two lined up pieces, which is not a cross. Yet, if it is still a cross, do the step one more. Now if you have two lined up sides, see to it that it is located on the back and the right side. 
then repeat the same process on the front until it is completely solved. Next step is solving the corners. We must see to it that we must line up all the colors on the right places. To do that, we must find the corner which is already on the right position. It will serve as our base in this move. Make sure that you never face towards another side. Follow this sequence. Right hand to the left, right hand up, left hand to the right, left hand up, right hand to the left, right hand down, left hand to the right, left hand down. Sometimes it will take a few tries to solve this. Just keep on going until you get the pieces right into their correct colors. So, there we have it. We successfully placed the corners in the right colors as we can see here. And now for the final step. Dun -dun -dun -dun. Turn the cube upside down. See to it that the white side is on the top. Then solve the corners by using the right -y algorithm until it is solved. Stay put on the side you are facing. Twist only the bottom layer until you see another unsolved corner. Use the right -y algorithm again until it is solved. Just follow these steps until all corners are finally solved. Up, left, down, right. Up, left, down, right. Yeah, twist the bottom layer. Up, left, down, right. Up, left, down, right. And, ta-da! There you have it.